so welcome to our February predictions here with the Duchess. So definitely we are going to be getting into all of the good stuff. I have all my supplement decks here. So we're going to be looking into general messages for February, some love messages, some finance career messages, see what surprises are in store. We got three decks today going here um, with their own little card each here from the fortune teller deck. So first deck here is the tattoo tarot deck and that comes here with the pathway card. So if this is what you're being called to, that is your deck. Next, we have the Edgar Allan Poe deck here with the courtship card. If that's what you're being called to, this is your deck number two. And then number three here is the Tarot of the Divine. This is my new deck that I am loving. Um, and this comes with the community card. So if this one's calling to you, then three is your deck. Now, with that being said, do remember that this is a general reading for the collective. So some things will resonate and turn out for you. Some things may be for others. That is really okay. If you feel like it's not alignment, go ahead and double check your intuition. Check another pile. That is all good as well. I appreciate everyone's love and and support, and I really appreciate it even more. If you like this video, go ahead and leave some comments. We can subscribe, share, like, all of that good stuff. So with that being said, there's also going to be some time stamps below. If you want a personal reading, you can also find that info below on my website, as well as if you want to learn how to read tarot, I do one-on-one -on -one classes and February 20th, I actually have a tarot session, a tarot class on Zoom, online. Anybody can attend from anywhere, but it's limited seats, okay? 25% of the seats are already sold. So with that being said, go ahead and grab your tickets. They're only $9.99. We're going to learn tarot in a day. Also can find that below. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into pile one. Let's move two over here to the side. Edgar Allan Poe and three over here to the side. And let's see what's coming for pile one for the month of February. So sir, what's going on here? What's coming for pile one? What can they expect in February? Give us an insight. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. Pile one, what's coming February? February. Ooh, starting off with the Six of Swords. So we definitely know that represents a new journey, leaving some things behind. Four coins. Very, very wise in how you're using your finances. Okay. Page of Coins. Very conscientious in how you're using your finances because it's like you're almost feeling like it ain't really the time to spend. It seems like a lot of you are going to be very tight on your finances here. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. But it's like some of you are really saving towards something good, like a trip or um, towards some sort of movement in the future. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely seeing a trip for someone. I'm seeing planes flying. Um, definitely seeing like, uh, I know it's winter, but it seems like somewhere that's going to be kind of sunny, even during the cold times. I guess it depends on where you're at in the world or where you're going to. Yeah, lots of rest. Okay, which goes perfectly with this pathway. So the Six of Swords lets me know that you, a lot of you are going to be leaving things behind, okay? There's something that's not serving you. There's something that you're drifting away from. And that Six of Swords really represents, you know what? I'm sick of this. I'm tired of this. For some of y'all, that's a relationship. It's like, you know, that was the last time. I'm sick of it. For some of y'all, it's that job. I am done with this job. I'm on to something new, better, greener pastures. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all, it's the people in your life. You know what? I'm. This is the last time. I'm over it. The situations, the addictions, the problems, whatever it is that's negative, it's like you're really assessing these things. And some of this stuff is going to be left behind. Now, Spirit is saying not everything is going to be perfection. Not everything is going to get left behind. But the the best parts, the, the things you really want to escape from, something you are definitely leaving behind, okay? 
we also see here that Spirit is saying it's like there's this this wanting to hold on to resources here. So it's like not a lot of splurgy energy for the month, not a lot of, you know, given unless it's wisely invested. It's like mm, people coming to ask to borrow stuff, you're like, mm, I don't really think so. You know what I'm saying? Especially those people that don't know how to pay their debts back. You're like, no, you're not borrowing anything at all. I need my resources. Um, I really feel like I said that there's going to be like some sort of planning here for the future, like building up and really watching your finances here as well with this page of coins, like really being conscientious of it, really like, hey, these are my resources and I'm. it's up to me to really like protect them. It's up to me to nourish them, to grow them. It's like you're really taking control of your resources financially is what I'm getting here, which is really good stuff, okay? So Spirit is saying that for some of you, it's not just because you want to though, it's because you, could, you pretty much have to. We got this five of pentacles. So this five of pentacles definitely represents, you know, low funds or maybe feeling out in the cold, maybe feeling like things haven't really gone your way. A lot of negative thoughts, a lot of stress, a lot of worry. And it's like, you're getting rid of this anxiety and this stress or the, these negative thought patterns because you're being more conscientious with your resources. Spirit is saying for some of y'all, this is definitely not money. Okay. For some of you, this is your time is what I'm getting. Definitely time. Some of y'all out here have been giving your time to people that just don't deserve it giving your time when you really need it for yourself. You got these energy vampires, this, you know, want, want, want. They just want and want and talk and talk and need and need. And it's like, there's no time for you. And so Spirit's saying, you're about to be more conscientious of your time. You're about to be wiser with your time because you're like, it ain't enough to be sharing with everyone. If you don't genuinely need me, if it's not an emergency, if it's something that you can handle on your own, I'm getting a lot of a no's. I can't do it. Sorry, I'm busy. A lot of y'all just, I'm seeing people turning off their ringer. Y'all just ain't even paying attention to it is what it is. Like, mm, this person want to keep calling, want to keep bothering me. I'm cutting it off. I'm not doing this at all whatsoever. Okay. There's going to be a new skill acquired here in the month of February with this eight of coins. So this could be something new in work or school. It could be learning something in a relationship, the way that you are processing things. It could be um, learning how to overcome challenges, maybe things that have been holding you back in the past. I'm really seeing like this new skill for some of y'all because I'm seeing people smoking. It's like letting go of smoking is what I'm getting. Like learning how to overcome this 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 addiction here. Mm -hmm. Working through that most definitely. So yeah, Spirit is basically saying that it's like you're stepping into this new venture, you're stepping into this new light, but at the same time, it's like you you know that this is going to be a journey that takes time. So just because you're stepping into it doesn't mean you're going to, going to be the master of it, okay? And so this Knight of Coins represents that that slowness of it, that meticulousness of it, that in-depth energy that goes with it. Because it's going to take time and patience. And so we see here this resting with the four swords. A very restful energy. It's like you're really bouncing back. And that's what I'm saying with this eight of wands. I feel like for some of y'all, you're really going to be going on a trip. There's going to be some actual travel that comes into play with this eight of wands. Maybe for some of you actually moving. Okay. Um, major changes could be moving jobs as well. But there's going to be things that you're prepping for. And through this time, as you're prepping for all this, it's like you're in your fire energy, your wands energy here. And with this queen of wands, it really represents someone that's taking control, taking charge, someone that's a great leader. So it's like you're really taking control of your life. You're stepping into that leadership role. You're manifesting your heart's desires. You're being very passionate and driving yourself forward in every which way. I really hear like some of y'all saying, yes, I'm putting on my crown. It's like, you know that you must wear your crown. You know it's not time for no BS at all whatsoever, okay? So let's see here what success messages we have. Then we'll get into some love messages. So Spirit, what do we have for success here for Pile 1? What's coming for them in February? What's coming for them in February for success? 
Okay, yeah, so you're trusting your gut. Dr. Dre, okay, so Dr. Dre's got on his headphones. This is all about trusting your gut, listening to your inner voice. You got your headphones on because you're not listening to others, okay? So with this inner trust, you're leading yourself on that right path. For others of you, okay, this is about being ahead of the game. This is about having a top of the line offering for the world. This is about you being that a player in your industry, okay? This is about you really coming hard because you ain't ready to go home at all whatsoever. This for some of you is more about taking a behind the scenes approach to your work. Maybe you don't want a lot of credit, but you're really just working hard and doing things because it makes you happy and it makes you feel good, but you don't necessarily need a lot of recognition or a lot of attention behind it, okay? <laughs> and also with this with this deep knowing and, and trusting and listening to the inner self, I also feel like you're tapping into those around you, a lot of you, right? And you're gaining a, a deeper understanding of them and what you can bring to the table to better your, your um, working relationships. So that way you manifest and bring more abundance into your life ultimately, okay? So now let's go ahead and do our love messages here. So Spirit, what? Do we see happening for pile one in love for February? Give us insight here. Okay, so some of you are going to be manifesting great abundance in your love life. Ooh. Some are going to be in this distorted feminine energy. I'm seeing chaos too. Some of y'all is just about to act a fool. I'm seeing it, okay? A little bit of yelling. I see somebody breaking some stuff, so I hope... Don't nobody do nothing crazy. Okay, some of y'all other ones is getting some chivalry in your life, okay? Definitely some chivalry. Spirit is saying some of y'all that's acting a fool is actually getting chivalry, but it's like you ain't looking at that. You're looking at other problems instead. But there's going to be a lot of conflict resolved in your love life in the month of February. It's like things are coming to a head and things are going to get resolved based off of communication, openness, discussions, and all of that good stuff. So the first thing we got here is abundance. So yes, a lot of you are going to be manifesting this great abundance, this great treasure in your life. So this could be in the form of a relationship being abundant. Like I said, I see some of you moving. So this could be in creating abundance just within your household and in your family unit. Um, definitely a lot of positivity. I'm seeing some healthy, happy, like dating from this abundance. I'm definitely seeing like new couples, like feeling abundantly ecstatic, excited, all like fluttery and all of that good stuff. But then, like I said, we do got some in this distorted feminine energy. This distorted feminine energy is that damsel in distress, that everything ain't going right, that I'm about to act a fool because I feel like everything ain't going right. And no, Spirit is saying we, we're going to be healing this energy in February, okay? You know me, we all about healing. No longer feeling in distress, stepping into our power, okay? Stepping into our confidence, stepping into our faith and our belief in love and in ourselves, in the universe, feeling more grounded instead of out of your divine feminine energies and getting yourself more into um, more even energies, more trusting energies. So some of you definitely going to be getting some chivalry coming in. I'm loving this, okay? So you're going to be getting doted on. Maybe you're the one doing the chivalry. Energy can be can be reversed. You could be dealing with the distorted feminine. But at the end of the day, you could be the one offering the chivalry. It could be a balance. You could be giving chivalry, getting chivalry. It's all good. At the end of the day, there's going to be which is perfect for the month of February, right? We got Valentine's Day, so it's like somebody better be chivalrous around here. So it's going to be some gifting, um, some love making, some loving energy, some positivity, some compliments, hand holding. I'm getting some serenades. I'm getting all kinds of stuff. Ooh, I'm getting a ring. Somebody is getting engaged, okay? I'm getting somebody popping the question. Somebody's getting some jewelry for sure, part of the chivalry. I ain't mad at you, okay? And then this one here, there's going to be a lot of conflict resolved in your love connection in February. It's like y'all just be like, screw it. Why we got to always beef? 
Why we gotta always worry about the nonsense, the petty things, you know what I'm saying? Let's overcome these challenges. Let's open our hearts. Let's really communicate. Let's talk. Let's not just be on our own way, but let's use a little peace. Let's use a little empathy. You know what I'm saying? Understanding. Let's be compassionate. Let's feel each other's pain and work through all of the negativity. I am loving it. Spirit, anything that Paola needs to look out for in the month of February. Anything we need to look out for. Okay. So Spirit is saying there's going to be a lot of possibilities and opportunities in this month. It's going to be up to you to soar high and see them all so that you can choose the best ones for your life. Spirit is saying that you could easily let these opportunities and possibilities pass you by simply not paying attention to them or recognizing that they're there. So let's definitely try not to do that. It was a pleasure. If this has helped, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we are on to pile two. Okay, love. So we are at pile two, which is our courtship card and our Edgar Allan Poe deck here. Huh. So, Spirit, tell us what's going on here for the month of February for pile two. What do they need to know? What is going on here for the month of February? Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> for pile two. Okay, so I'm loving it. We're starting off with that take charge energy. I knew it. I knew love was going to be in the air, especially after picking that courtship card. Hey, babe. Ooh, yes. Okay, so two of cups. Two of Wands. So it looks like there's some plans for the future. I am loving this pile. Okay, yes. The Moon. Okay, coming to terms with some things. The Fool. The Emperor. A lot of take charge. A lot of take charge energy. And a lot of success. This looks like um, Pile 2 going to have a pretty good month. Okay, yes. Yes, okay. And it's like a lot of swift movements. Like things are going to be happening, swift, it's happening swiftly for pile two in the month. We got the King of Wands, okay. Um, and this King of Wands is rushing in like a Knight of Wands. I'm loving the imagery on this card. Um, we got the Six of Wands, the Six of Swords, which represents movement as well. They're on a journey here with the full card. So, yes, yeah, so... One thing I can definitely say is this is a take charge month for you guys here in um, pile two. So we got the magician, which is always about taking charge. It's about manifesting magic in your life. It's about you using these elements here at the at the tips of your fingers to create what it is that you desire, deserve, want, need, right? And then this emperor as well. This emperor is working hard to create what it is that he wants in his life, what he needs, what he desires. So there's a lot of take charge energy in this month of you guys really manifesting and making things happen. Not holding back at all whatsoever is what I'm getting, okay? Not letting other people, you know, kind of push you or tell you which way to go. You're really taking charge. I love here these ram heads on this so this really represents the force okay so spirit is saying it's just a tad bit above assertiveness for some of y'all some of y'all is really just going as soon as they get their opinion no no thank you no this is what we're doing i'm in charge here i know what i'm doing i know can we listen can y'all listen to me i can see it here okay can you listen and when people trying to give you advice mm, sorry thank you appreciate it. it sounded good but at the end of the day I'm in charge here, so I got to do what's best for me. Spirit is saying, for most of y'all, this is doing what's best for you. So this take charge is not even just about taking charge of your life, but it's taking charge of all these people that have been having you ripping and running and doing things and, and bending over backwards for them and doing things for their pleasure. And, oh, can you do this? Oh, did you got time for this? Hey, what about this? Mm -mm, no. You're taking charge. You're like, hey, well, I would have time for myself, but I'm too busy doing all this stuff for you. I ain't got time for that. I don't got time. Mm -mm. 
I really feel like for some of you, you're taking charge of projects is what Spirit is saying. This take charge energy is very versatile for February, okay? Taking charge of some new projects, really manifesting things for your career or for some hobbies here that really make you feel good. I'm really getting like that exhilarating energy, really feeling good, really feeling like you're on a start to something new and vibrant that really just makes you feel excited, okay? Now, there's definitely a two of cups here. So I'm seeing a lot of lovey-dovey energy, dating energy, which really makes sense because we got that courtship card earlier. So with this two of cups, it's like some of you are going to be meeting someone new and coming together. Some of you are simply going to be um, deepening your bonds or really focused on your love or on your romantic relationships here with this two of cups. Spirit is saying for some of you, you're actually really focusing on your working relationships. It seems like some of y'all have been having some fallouts at work or whatever, but you're trying to leave that behind you. You want a more peaceful environment, okay? Spirit is saying for relationships as well, some of y'all been falling out, but it's like we're over, we're overcoming that. We ain't falling out no more. We're getting along. We're loving each other. We're offering each other the, these cups, and we're going to be on the same page. So there's a lot of peace that I get coming from this month as far as relationships go, both romantic and platonic, because it's like really getting along, really coming to some sort of um, meeting of the minds or compromising. And so with this energy of really working together and seeing each other for what it truly is, we bring in this energy of this two of wands, right? So two of wands is about working together. Let's plan something out here for the future. So here it looks like some sort of search party, but it's like you guys are really going to be able to work with someone, whether it be romantically or platonically, and start building a future, okay? Okay. Start looking at where things can develop, where they can evolve, where they can be better, where it can grow. For those of you that's business, it goes the same in there. You're looking for where you can evolve and grow in business here or in your spiritual growth. With all these, these, these changes and with all this control that you're stepping into and this power that you're stepping into, we get this energy of the moon. So the moon is like here that you can see this reflection. It's almost like you're about to check yourself, okay? You're going to be checking in with your intuition. You're going to be checking if you're making the right move. You're learning to really trust yourself, really follow your gut, really follow what downloads you're getting from the universe, okay? So with this moon energy, it's like, Hey, I'm coming to terms with what's going on. I'm able to see my world more clearly. I'm able to process and make plans for my highest good. So there's a lot of this reflection. There's a lot of this tapping into like this, this psychic energy or this divine energy connecting with the universe and, and taking in all this information so that you can work with making all these changes and adjustments. In a way, it's like it gives you a sense of peace, but also more control this is part of it part of it so with this full energy we definitely have um this new journey being started so spirit is saying there's going to be some things unforeseen coming for you is what i'm getting here they're in the dark they got their little torches but they don't really know what's in front of them them torches ain't going that that far out and so for some of y'all this is going to be a very pleasant surprise for some of y'all might not be the surprise you thought it was right but What's most important, the Spirit is saying, is really going to be focused on this journey in February and going through these processes and understanding and seeing things from a different light, from a different point of view, from a different perspective. This is all growing and learning um, as part of your as part of your development. <laughs> Spirit says some of y'all is actually going to try to crack some skulls. I don't know who this is, but let's chill out, okay? Let's just relax a little bit we ain't got no beef we ain't got no beef somebody got some beef okay so with all of this it's going to be a very successful month as far as coming together being able to celebrate here with the six of wands so the six of wands as you can see this is a group it almost looks like a dance mob back in the day okay they out there smiling they throwing cards they having a good time so it's very celebratory energy very positive. It's like you're stepping into a sense of belonging for some of you, okay? Feeling like you're part of a group or a team or a crowd or a family. Feeling part of something very important here. Mm-hmm. 
and it brings a lot of cheerfulness. Now, there's the Six of Swords dirty. There's things that are going to be left behind because we're starting afresh. That goes hand in hand with that Fool. This is really has to do with going towards all these plans that we were making with that Two of Wands, right? Working together. And then we have this King of Wands energy, which look at all this fire. Look at how passionate this is. So a lot of y'all is just going to be rushing in, fiery, blazing, okay? And that's the spirit is saying right now. Some of the crest goals didn't mean hurt nobody. It meant come in and dominate, okay? Some of y'all is about to dominate in February, whether it be spirit is saying your relationship, mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. maybe it be your relationship, your job, your career, your own growth, wherever it is that you're focused, you're about to dominate, you're about to win, you're about to come in with a lot of fierceness, a lot of power, and show everybody how it's done, okay? So let's go ahead and pull some or a success card. What do we got here for success? For pile two. Estee Lauder. Okay. Estee Lauder. So with this, the spirit is saying, for some of you, you really need to stand in your youthful energy here. It's like Estee Lauder never ages. Okay. Um, as you stand in that energy, it's like you see life with a more optimistic viewpoint and so spirit is saying this optimist is gonna this optimism is going to make strides or make turns here in your finances in your career in your success also it says a free gift can buy anyone hey give out some free stuff or do things for nothing sometimes we always worried about getting paid spirit is saying yes let's get paid we need to survive out in these streets but at the same time allow yourself to give sometimes the more you give the more you shall receive it's the universal law but a lot of times we don't want to give we like mm, i ain't got nothing to give but whatever you do have give something look at some of the most famous people philanthropists look at oprah all she does is give 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 you get what i'm saying obviously estee lauder i'm talking about her right so that's okay spirit is saying you have to do this and it's okay to reinvent yourself. So some of you are going to be doing a complete 180 for the month, okay? You're like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of the old way I've been doing things. Or I'm trying for some different goals. I'm trying for some different results. So I'm going to do a 180. I'm going to change the way I've been doing things. I'm going to dream bigger. I'm going to have different goals. I'm going to work towards more things that I'm passionate about. More things that enlighten me. Love it. So what's the love energy here? For pile two for February. What's the love energy in the air spirit? Love energy. Okay, so definitely a journey of self-respect here. <laughs> spirit is saying those are those. <laughs> that's the people that's dominating they they relationship or cracking skulls. It's really about them stepping into their self-respect. I love it. Intimacy is a definite factor for some of you here. And the others, there's a waiting period and kind of tending to yourself and, and your love life before things really develop to a further level, okay? First, it's going to be a, a, a journey of self-respect, right? A journey of self-respect. So this is part of that take charge energy. Like we said, if there's something that needs to be released, we're not doing it. So with the self-respect, you're not letting these leeches in. We're not letting these narcissists in. We're not letting these people in that sit here trying to take and get and grab and want and need and this and that. No. It's like, hey, no, no, thank you. I'm worried about me. I'm taking it's self-respect. Okay. Why don't you get some instead of always coming over here asking me for stuff? This is that energy. Okay. A lot of no's are coming from this. I'm getting a lot of mm -mm, not doing it. I'm loving it, okay? For some of you, it's, it's a whole different thing. You, you, your relationship is getting closer and deeper and more intimate. So with this energy, it's like this deep loving bond. It's like this compassion. It's like this empathy. But also, it's really more than anything, this expression of realness, this openness. When you're intimate with someone, it's like they know you inside and out. This is a deepness that you're not willing to share with everyone else. And so for some of you, I'm really getting from spirit that this is something new. So you're almost going to be in shock at the level of intimacy that's coming in. You're going to be like, this ain't my boo. Is this my boo? Being intimate? Oh, oh, okay. Yes, it's going to be a beautiful thing. Okay. I'm loving it. Other way around, it could be you. You feel like you jumping in there. You know what? I'm going to be open. 
I'm going to be expressive. I'm not going to hold back. I'm not going to wear masks. It's just raw and uncut. That's what we get here with this intimacy card. Some of y'all are going to be waiting for something to happen, and that's okay. Serendipity. So, Spirit, is, this, this card is about everything happening in love at the right time when it's supposed to. You might be like, oh, I'm sick of that. I'm tired of hearing that. When is the right time? I feel you, right? But it's not the right time. So, for some of you, there are certain things you want to happen in your love life, certain shifts you want to happen. And the Serendipity card, I feel like, pretty much guarantees it because it tells you Spirit is, is working for you. It's working to bring you this beautiful oasis here. But you have to do your part. You have to roll and roll and roll and roll past all these boulders until you finally get there and not give up. And so, that leads to tending your garden. So, a lot of you are just going to be working on relationship patterns okay working on healing nurturing tending this garden so that you're ready to allow true intimacy in if that's not something that you have been open to what other love messages do we got for pile two yeah there's cycles things are shifting changing i love it one more transformation yes a lot of change so Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Then we got transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Didn't we say that? Yes. Love conquers and transforms all things. So a lot of y'all, like I said, this transformation, that's what I'm saying. You, you're going to be like... This is my boo that's intimate? Loving me like this? Two of cups? Yes. Okay? Now, anything that Pile 2 needs to look out for in the month of February? Anything they need to look out for in the month of February? Thunderbolt. So, yes, major changes once again. Just Spirit is saying that know that some of these changes are going to be shocking like a thunderbolt, okay? It could be like this awakening. It could be jolting. It could be frightening. It could be shocking. It is... But at the end of the day, you're going to be fine. You're going to be able to step into it with ease, with grace, with class, all of that good stuff. If this helped at all, like, share, comment, subscribe. And we are about to go on to pile three okay pile three let's see what's coming for you guys with the community card here so sure what's happening for pile three here for the month of february what's going on for pile three for february Okay, so five of wands, automatically starting off here with some opposition, some challenges to overcome, maybe some competition here. Mm -hmm. It's definitely going to be a shaky month here at the tower, so it's like some people going to definitely be trying to test you. Um, but it's like you're also <laughs> responding in a way that's very expressive but it's almost like you're not coming for the jugular it's like you're being kind of gentle but in a petty way is what i'm getting so we got emperor here that was in pile two so also take charge energy here in pile three maybe for different reasons okay six of swords as well what else is coming for pile three for february Page of Queens. So a lot of page energy. Eight of Swords. Yeah, it's y'all gonna be stressing and thinking about things. Spirit is saying it's also it's like different for y'all. Y'all are leaving the control behind. It's like trying to control it is what set you off into a more stressful energy. You're trying to be more balanced. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trying to be more balanced, trying to be more in tune with self. Releasing these energies of really holding on too tight or trying to control too much, okay? So, first we got here the Five of Wands. So, this represents opposition. Some sort of battle or some sort of 
struggle. So there's somebody, for some of y'all, the person is being malicious, but some of y'all, it's like the person's just dumb or just not getting it, okay? So it's like they're coming for you, but they're not really coming for you, but they're bringing some sort of opposition to your life. For others of you, it's just a situation is bringing opposition, not just, not, not, specifically a person but some sort of situation that it's like oh now it's a struggle oh now i gotta overcome this challenge i gotta overcome this hurdle some of y'all really hearing is always something but spirit is saying do not claim that it's okay to think it's always something but no it's not really okay it's just something right now but better days are to come is the way we gotta say it okay um so yeah there's opposition and so because of this opposition there's a tower moment Tower moment means everything's about to shake up, okay? Everything's getting a little hectic, okay? There's a storm. There's people jumping out the window. There's fire. There's brimstone. It's going to be a little bit of chaos. So with this, it's not time to freak out. And It really looks like you're going to have some fears about it, some stresses, but you're not necessarily freaking out, okay? Um, it's more like holding back. Mm-hmm. So there's definitely going to be some jolting changes. I see for some of y'all, it's really going to be like, I do see being work, like having some sort of beef and like going on about your business. We got this page of cups here, which I really am feeling represents like the kind of playfulness, but I'm also getting kind of pettiness, kind of looking back like, you tried to trip me up, but it didn't work is what I'm getting. This page of cups is funny. This bunny has like this string around his leg. So it's almost like he could trip off the string, but he doesn't. He's got this cup of water and it's like, you tried to trip me up, but it ain't working. Look, mm, you know, no drama, no nothing. Just, mm, you know, you see what it is. You know what the experience is, but you're not feeding into it. And so Spirit is saying this is happening because you're actually releasing a lot of control. I'm getting piled three has a lot of control freaks in here. Like things to go the way they want it to go, how they want it to go, when they want it to go that way. Okay. Um, and so there's this, this emperor energy, which represents that control, which represents that sternness. This emperor is very stern, very straightforward. Like no one can cross me. No one can mess with me. I'm running this. But at the same time, it's like you're leaving that energy behind. Like, it hasn't really been serving you. So you're on this journey here with the Six of Swords. And you're like, you know what? I'm no longer trying to control everything. For some of y'all, Spirit is saying, it's like others have been trying to control you. And it's like you're moving away from that. No one's controlling me. No one's controlling my emotions with their negativity is what I'm getting. Not falling for it at all. And so we got this page of coins, which really represents like, I'm getting really introverted energy here, really focused on your treasures, focused on what's making your life better, focus on growth and not everything else, not the BS. And so this internal focus or this introverted energy is coming from this eight of swords. It's like feeling like every time you are out there, somebody's coming for you or there's a situation with things just is going left and you're just over. You're just tired. Just tired. It's this eight of swords. Tired. Ready for some balance. Ready for some balance. And so this is represented here with the six of coins. It's like, damn, can I get the same thing I put in, you know? Can things just be even for a little bit? Can it just be chill? And so Spirit is saying that, yeah, there is going to be some balance coming into play. But this balance comes into play as you become internally balanced. It's like the energy is based off of your internal energy here. And we get this with the high priestess. So the high priestess is all about internal balance. It's all about that trusting yourself, trusting your intuition, okay? Um really knowing that you're on the right path, feeling wise, feeling full of the right stuff, knowing that you're going to go on the right path because you got, you're like intuitively trusting yourself, the universe, the divine, all of that. And so it's like, as you shift and you get into this, this more balanced, more self trusting energy, that's when you really start attracting more positivity here for yourself and pretty much releasing all of these negative energies we ain't doing it we are not doing it so let's see what spirit is saying here for your success for the month of february 
Financial Success Pile 3. Jenna Lyons. So this is really about catching attention here. It looks like she's a fashion designer. So this is about catching attention. Always being on your toes, looking good, smiling, talking with the right um, delivery. Okay? Being more magnetic. It says do not go gentle into the drab print. We ain't going into the boring. Okay? We're going hard or going home. So it's like being very alive, very vibrant. This is made the bus folk person choose you. So it's about speaking up. A lot of you are going to be manifesting what you desire into reality by speaking up and really getting the throat chakra opening up here. Okay. If you don't speak up for you, then who will? If you're not your own spokesperson, who will be? You're going to really be focused on selling yourself. Okay. And then also here, Spirit is saying this, this is bringing opportunities for you in finances. For some of you, there's going to be a door closing, but that just means another one's open. For some of you, you're going to be closing the door because another one is wide open and full of the abundance that you're looking for. So there's definitely changes coming here with this energy from Jenna Lyons that's based off of a lot of abundance. So let's see what's coming here for love for pile three. What's coming for love for pile three. Give us insight. Okay, so some of you are going to be reviving yourself. Some of you are going to be reviving a past connection. Mm -hmm. Put in a lot more focus on universal love. Some of you are going to be getting really creative in your connections or relationships. Assessing compatibility. Some of you are actually going to be, like I said, dating someone new, shining bright, attracting more love into your life. So some of y'all's relationship this hasn't been that great. It's like you're bringing some revival into it. You're bringing some life. You're bringing rainbows and, and success and happiness and and. All of that. You can see she's swinging. There's balloons. Everything is beautiful. And so this is the energy that you're bringing to your loving connections. Being more lighthearted. Being free. Then we got this love card. So I really see this as a lot of love coming into your life. For some of you, it is going to be from romantic relationships. From others, it's going to be universal love, which we all excuse me, always have. But at the same time, there's going to be like, for some of you, I feel like it's a new sense of love here. Like re-falling in love with self. Const Very similar to the rainbow reviving energy. Then we got this creativity. So it's like seeing more opportunities, seeing things from a different light. Look at this weekend create magic here in our love lives with this creativity card. I feel like for some of you, there's actually a person coming in that's very creative. They're about to blow your mind with all of this like new exciting things that they want to show you and that they want to experience with you. So you're really going to get high off of this connection, high off of um, this portion of your life. Compatibility. So this is really going two ways. Some of y'all are assessing, am I really compatible with this person? You know what I'm saying? It's like, mm, you know, I've been spending time here, but I'm feeling some things off. I'm feeling like some things need to be assessed. I feel like this person may be the one bringing some odds or some, some negativity to my life, whatever it may be. Others of you are really going to be focused on ways that you are compatible and putting the focus back there so you're not focused on the petty stuff and leaving that behind, okay? We're focused on being compatible, in ways that we know that we are, right? Instead of focusing on the negativity. It's really what this card I'm getting is a shift of focus. Um, either which way it goes. And really just seeing where you guys are the same or different. Then we got here luminosity. So with the luminosity card, this woman here is shining very brightly. And she gets a lot of love and respect respect from those around her based off of her vibrancy based off of her gentle nature and so it's like i'm really getting from spirit that there's a lot of love that's going to be attracted here in the month of february whether this luminosity is in effect in the month or if it's setting the stage for love to come in in future months here 
by having this open energy. It's like this warm, welcoming, loving energy. It's like you're almost pretty much ready, set there. And now you're just waiting for this person or to waltz into your life, to walk in and, and share in this happiness and this brightness. Okay, Spirit. What other love messages do we have here for Pile 3? What other love messages for Pile 3? Did this insight? Oops. Flying, but that is the card. I'm going to pull one more. I am not good with any of these weird shaped decks. Okay, love it. So... This luminosity spirit is saying that there is so much energy that's being attracted here, but there's a lot of forgiveness that must happen first. So for a lot of you, this luminosity is not going to come until you forgive and release. And that's where that revival energy, energy is from too, reviving by releasing and forgiving. It says, stop focusing your energy on past events. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So it's like switching to that imagined, dreamy, happy energy. Focus on the bright and positive future versus on a bleak and negative past. Then we got that there's definitely soulmate energy in the mist here. So you could be spending deep quality time with your soulmate. Or for a lot of you, like I said with this luminosity, I feel like you're starting at that energy right now to start attracting that soulmate. Like you're vibing at the right energy levels and the soulmate's coming in it says your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically okay so that's this bright light your soulmate is with you in spirit now it's up to you to believe to dwell in this love and be ready for this soulmate here to enter your life and change it dramatically in the best type of ways so spirit anything that pile three needs to look out for for the month of february abundance that's that's good because we already got the spirit is like we already told them about the negativity at the beginning let's tell them about the good stuff at the end you can look out for abundance in your life okay so there's going to be a lot of fertility coming a lot of growth most definitely and a lot of balance here so anything that seemed off track at the beginning of the month is definitely going to get on track and you're going to reap the benefits of dealing with all of that early on it was definitely a pleasure i hope that this has helped in some way if so please like share comment subscribe all that good stuff and until the next time bye